Hello, good morning. My name is Pratinya Patkar and I will be presenting the topic from the mathematics subject that is product of the whole numbers. But before going to that, let me introduce myself. I've completed my electrical engineering from Mumbai University in 2012. Then I have worked as a lecturer in the SSPM's College of Engineering. I've also worked as an executive engineer in Karad Projects and Motors Limited, where we manufactured three-phase induction motor. Then I have worked as a lecturer for the diploma students in RIT. Then I have also worked as the video lecturer. And currently I'm working as a STEM facilitator with the National Academy of Science and Creative Arts, where I'm involved in curriculum design, development of content, and conducting online sessions on various STEM related topics for science, mathematics, and computational thinking. So that was all about me. Let us start with our topic. So the topic is product of the whole number. Now let me tell you a story of a family. So in a family, there were six kids, two brothers and four sisters. All the kids were very well mannered, very obedient, really good behaved. So naturally the parents were very happy with the behavior of the kids. So to encourage this good behavior, parents decided to give them some chocolates. Listening to this, obviously all the kids were very happy. But now there is a question. Parents decided to give five chocolates to each of the six kids. Now they are confused. How many chocolates should they purchase? So now parents started calculating. So there were like five chocolates for one kid, five chocolates for second kid, five chocolates for third kid, five chocolates for fourth kid, five chocolates for fifth kid, five chocolates for sixth kid. And finally they calculated they need to purchase 30 chocolates. But don't you think this is a little bit lengthy and time consuming process? adding a particular number again and again, repetitive time? Is there any easier way or the fastest way to do this calculation? There is. So adding each number repetitively is very slow and long process. Another way is to multiply. So this can be done very easily by multiplication. So there are six children and if you multiply them with the five chocolates, then six fives up, we get 30 chocolates. Wasn't that easy? And calculation done in very less time. So let us learn something more about multiplication. So multiplication is a very fast and easy way to add same number again and again repetitive times. It is denoted by the symbol X. Multiplication basically includes two numbers that are being multiplied. Now, the number which is being multiplied is called as a multiplier. And the number with which we are going to multiply is called as the multiplicand. And the answer of these two numbers, that is multiplication of multiplier and multiplicand is called as the product. Now, let us take this very simple example. 3 multiplied by 4 is equal to 12. So here, 3 is multiplier. 4 is multiplicate, whereas 12 is the product. Wasn't that easy? Here is another simple example of multiplication. Let us take another family in which there are three children. Now their mother wants to buy four notebooks to each of her child. So how many notebooks should she purchase? Are you going to do addition? No, we are going to multiply. So three kids, multiplied by four books. So in total, they need 12 notebooks. So three children multiplied by four notebooks gives 12 notebooks. Wasn't that easy? Now we are going to have some fun with the products of the whole number. So let's play a quiz. So here is a quiz about Snow White and her seven dwarfs. So the name of first quiz is Count the Apple. Once upon a time, on a very beautiful spring day, Snow White and her seven dwarfs were playing in the jungle. While playing, they came across an apple tree. 
Now, obviously, everyone wanted to eat the apples from the tree. Each of them ate two apples. So, according to you, how many total apples did they get from the tree? You have four options. First option is 10 apples or 12 apples, 14 apples or 16 apples. Try to think. Let's find the solution to this quiz. So, including Snow White, there are eight people and each of them ate two apples. So, when we multiply eight people with two apples, we get eight multiplied by two, that is 16 apples. So, the correct option is D, 16 apples. Very good. Now, let's go to our next quiz. The name of this quiz is correct or incorrect. So, today is Riya's birthday. For her birthday, she has invited her friends for treat in Domino's. Including Ria, there are six people. So Ria has decided that she will give everyone four slices of pizza. Now each pizza has eight slices. So Ria ordered three pizzas. According to you, the number of pizzas ordered by Ria are correct or incorrect. You have some options. First is correct and second is incorrect. Let's calculate. So here we have total six people and everyone is going to enjoy four slices of pizza. So six people multiplied by four slices of pizza gives us 24 slices. So is the number of pizza ordered by Ria correct? Let's see. Each pizza had eight slices. Correct? So total there are three pizzas. So three pizzas multiplied by eight slices, we will have total 24 slices. So the number of pizzas ordered by Ria is correct. Next quiz is guess my number. So Rahul made a new friend in school today. His name is Sanjay. Sanjay asked Rahul for his mobile number. Rahul gave Sanjay his number, but in the form of a puzzle. So the puzzle was, ring, ring, give me a call. If you know the last five digits in descending order in the table of nine at all. Interesting puzzle, right? What is Rahul's mobile number? Here are your options. First option is 9072634536 or 9081455427. Nine zero one eight five four eight one seven two or nine zero eight one seven two six three five four. What is the correct answer? Let us find the solution. The hint is in the table of nine. We have to find last five digits and arrange them in descending order. So which are the last five digits? 90, 81, 72, 63, 54. So what is the mobile number? Correct. It is option D. That is 9081726354. Wasn't that interesting? Next, we have to find our way to the maze. In the kingdom of Andalusia, Sleeping Beauty lies, who is cursed by a wicked witch. Many people have tried to rescue her from the castle. But before castle lies a maze of numbers, which no one could cross. Today, a brave prince has come to the rescue of Sleeping Beauty. He is standing just in front of the maze. Now, the only trick to cross the maze is to follow the multiplication table of five. Isn't that interesting? Let us help the prince cross this maze and rescue Sleeping Beauty. So this is the maze which lies in front of the castle of Sleeping Beauty. Which path should he take? Can you think of something? Let us try our answer. So if the prince goes from this path, this is also the table of five, but it ends over here. He will never reach the sleeping beauty. Let's try the another path. So this is five, one to five, five to the 10, five to the 15, five to the 20, five, five to the 25, five, six to the 30, five, seven to the 35, five eight to the 40, five nine to the 45, 5, 10 is a 50, 5, 11 is a 55, then we have 60 and 65, and finally we can reach 
sleeping beauty and rescue her very good so this is the path to the maze which the prince has to take great we have helped the prince to rescue sleeping beauty now this is our last quiz that is a crossword puzzle you can see here we have a crossword puzzle which we have to solve so the first question is if ram sham and balram have seven pencils each then together they have how many pencils so ram sham and balram are three people right so three people multiplied by seven pencils the answer is 21 can you search for 21 in this crossword puzzle yes look over here we have 21 so that is our first answer now next question in a bakery there were five cakes and on each cake there were seven strawberries so in total the bakery owner had how many strawberries so five cakes multiplied by seven strawberries five sevens are 35 so the answer is 35 can you find 35 in this crossword puzzle over here we have 35 good job next question if little red riding hood had four baskets and each basket had nine mangoes how many total mangoes does she have so four multiplied by nine that is 36 let's find 36 in this puzzle it is over here very good next question on an island there were seven coconut trees each tree had eight coconuts so how many coconuts were there in total on that island seven eights are 56 so the answer is over here 56 very good we have solved the crossword puzzle so here is our first answer 21 then second answer 35 then third answer 36 and fourth answer 56 very good So that was all for this session thank you